it is such a well-known and commonly used expression that we don't even use the full version anymore. But it is also the expression that is used out of context the most, because usually we are nowhere near Rome. Lamborghini is having their when in Rome moments. They are going with the flow. They are doing something just because everyone else is. They have entered the SUV segment with the launch of this, the Urus. Bulldust. Ferruccio Lamborghini would never have thought this possible, but can a dirty, dusty Lamborghini still maintain its pin-up status? Boy, is it a belter. Lamborghini's design DNA is clearly evident wherever you look. Every single crease, every hard edge, and every hexagonal detail is purely Lamborghini. The design team tell us that they drew inspiration from this, their very first SUV. They did it first in 86 with the LM002. Very limited numbers, only 300 were produced. But as you can imagine, consumers' needs and wants and design requirements for a modern day SUV are very different. Just how tough a job was that? Lamborghini is about proportion, so we have to have extreme proportions. When you see the Urus uh, driving around, you can immediately perceive it's the lowest SUV, it's the widest, it is having fantastic proportion. But we are also, um, to, we took some interpretation from the past. Countach, for example, Countach is very significant with the side windows. When you see the car from the front, side windows really leaned inside with a strong angle and we have designed this also on the Euro, so when you see the car from the front, it's uh, repeating this uh, theme. The another car, the LM002, but it was the first super SUV of all times. So we took from the LM also a couple of inspirations, like the wheel arches. Our wheel arches are not just round on the LM, they are really like off-roadish, kind of straight lines. So we took them, gave them more dynamic, so the car is already, while still standing, having a dynamic. Um, then there is, a, there is a feeling of the power dome of the front engine bonnet. It's not just one line, it is going up and going back towards the window. And this is inspired by the LM. When you compare both, they share the same philosophy, but on the Urus with more dynamic. And the small little feature is the little triangular air outlet. So, you know, the car is really breathing there. And uh, this is for me also one source of inspiration. We have interpreted this inside the Urus in an Y theme and it's wearing a small little Italian flag proudly showing it's designed, it's developed, it's built in Santa Gata Bolognese in Italy. Well this is a first for Lamborghini, a turbocharged V8. It is all aluminium, it is compact, it is lightweight, and it's mounted really, really low down. This is critical when you're wanting to enhance and ensure you maintain the dynamic feel of a car that is a Lamborghini. And let me tell you, the figures are actually quite astounding. Take a listen to this, 478 kilowatts, 850 Newton meters. It's it's unbelievable and that is how incredibly powerful this car is and because it's twin turbo what makes it so cool is that that power delivery is so so smooth right across the entire range of the car listen to the figures 0 to 100 3.6 seconds 200 in 12.8 yeah you heard me right and then your bull's gonna run out of steam at 305 kilometers an hour incredible carbon ceramics are standard and is the most powerful braking system. 440 millimeter, 10 pots in the front, 370 in the rear. This thing stops on a ticky and it weighs just 2.2 tons. That is incredible and that's what makes this car so dynamic. But let me introduce you 
to Tambura. Tambura is the heart of it all. This is their new driver interface. So you're going to be familiar with things like Strada, Sport, and of course what we in on track, Corsa. But this is a first for Lamborghini. Terrier and Sabia, essentially it means off-road and sand. These two modes are not standard on the Urus. What is standard though is obviously the snow mode. But I, 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 I can't believe I'm actually doing this. This is like completely surreal. I'm pinching myself here. I am tossing a Lamborghini around on a dirt track. It is just, it, it's mind blowing. So obviously yes, it's got a four wheel drive system and the way it works, it's got it's a central diff lock. So in standard mode, that central diff lock is giving you a split of 40-60, but what makes this so cool is that it's able to push 70% to the front and 90% to the rear, depending on obviously the, the mode and where you are. Active torque vectoring, critical. Whichever tire or wheel wants or needs the most power, the Urus is gonna send it to that wheel. They can actually send up to 75%, which is actually just quite incredible. On track and off-road, we've shown you the Urus at the most extreme, but probably its most important test is how it handles the real world. And this is probably most impressive to the new buyers that Urus will definitely be bringing to the Lamborghini brand, is daily usability and practicality. And for me, that's been the most impressive. I mean, the roads we drove on here in Italy weren't great. Uh, it's a lot like our conditions back in South Africa. Yet behind the wheel, the car somehow feels small, insulated, comfortable to drive. Yet you get in the back and you are surprised just how spacious it is. Quite easily fitting somebody my height. I'm six foot, it can take six foot three. How they've managed to do that really does mess with your head when you look at that sloping roof line. It really is an impressive overall package. But driving the car, was pleasant, was comfortable, but at the flick of a switch, it's that red flag to the bull. From a pricing perspective, this is the bit that surprised me the most. We told it will land in South Africa in the third quarter at around 3.4 million Rand. I thought it was gonna be a lot more because the package and the overall usability makes this the Lamborghini that you want to buy. So quite clearly, when in Rome, means something very, very different to Lamborghini.